Hey, hey y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Show Me Sherry. You can barely see me. I just got finished filming um, the nested fig box, the nesting box from Nested Fig and um, some antique farmhouse, uh, an antique farmhouse shopping haul. So I thought I might as well get out, get, I might as well finish up with some more home decor and lifestyle uh, with these big boxes and they're all dirty while I have my nice black shirt on, of course. As you can see, there's barely any space for me. <laughs> the box underneath here, right here, is the habitation box and it is huge. Well, it's not huge, but it's large. And then this willow nook box is kind of heavy. So, all right, let's see what we got. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Uh, it is bright and sunny here in Missouri. Um, I think it's gonna be high of 86, so not quite fall weather, but at least it's not in the 90s, y'all. Whew, I tell you, it has been a hot summer here, and I'm sure that it has been hot where y'all are too. So, um, yeah, this is an interesting box. So my habitation box came like this. It's, it's like basically opened. You just never know. And I believe it's the bottom of the package. So that's, that's how we're going to open it today is from the bottom up. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I haven't been up to much, um, other than, you know, taking care of Scooby, but he's doing so much better. He's going to join me for some videos. So I'm excited about that. Um, I, we are going to church tomorrow. Um, we have wanted to find a home church for a very long time. You can probably hear my fan. I'm going to have to shut that off. I was hot. It's probably driving you guys crazy. I'll shut it off after the intro. So, um, yeah, we haven't decided where we're going yet. And so we're just on a, you know, on a hunt for our home church and, um, you know, we feely, feely, we feely, we really feely, <laughs> we really feel the um, need to find it. And it's not easy, you know, it just, it's just not. I'm looking for a feeling. I'm looking for a feeling of home. And I believe that when we go to the right one, I'm going to feel that homey welcome feeling. You know, I'm looking for not just a home church, but a home church family. You know, I'm looking for a, um, I'm looking for a tribe, a tribe of um, amazingly awesome, loving people that all come together to learn and heal through God's word. So that's what I'm going to look for. I'm not sure yet. We've got to figure it out. We did finish our fall bucket list. So um, the next video that we film, we're going to share that together and we have yeah, finished some um, planning for y'all. We finished with some planning for y'all in the future. So we've got some exciting things coming up in the next, uh, let's see, three months. We haven't planned past that, but we have some um, fun things to bring to you. Um, what else? Just been busy, busy working. That's pretty much it. What have y'all been up to? Have you guys started doing anything for fall yet? I mean, it just happened. So, you know, uh, Missouri does the, um, Missouri recognizes the, what's that called? Daylight savings time. And apparently it's not gonna be a- I don't know that. Apparently it's not gonna be a thing anymore. So this is going to be our last fall that we wind the clocks back. And we've been doing that ever since my whole life. So it's going to be very unique, very strange. It's going to be very strange. And the whole purpose I thought was, or one of the purposes I believed was, um, not wanting the school kids to wait for their school buses in the dark. So I'm not sure how they're going to address that situation now. I don't know, but how odd. I mean, I know, I know a lot of the states in our country don't recognize daylight savings time. Hawaii doesn't. I know that. Um, but yeah, Missouri always has. So you know, it's kind of weird. This is going to be our last fall to fall back. And I guess that's going to be November, I believe. And then we have one more spring forward and then we're done. 
So that should be very interesting. I find that very, very bizarre, but we'll see. All right, let me go shut this fan off so it doesn't drive y'all crazy and we will get into these boxes. Okay, all right, so if you're new here, welcome. I'm so, so happy that you are here to hang out with us for a while. Thank you for stopping by. Um, if you like what you see, you know, check out some more videos. We have a lot of fun over here. So um, yeah, I invite you to come back and, and anyone that is watching that hasn't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and it really helps the channel to grow. So I really appreciate that. Um, and those of you that have been with me, you guys rock, you know I think you're awesome. So, all right, let's get into these boxes. I guess we'll just do this habitation box first since it's right here. If I can get my notebook out. All right. Habitation box um, is a monthly or quarterly home description. Description. It's a monthly or quarterly home description. <sighs> Habitation box is a monthly or quarterly home decor subscription box. Got it. Um, so you can choose to have it monthly or you can choose to have it quarterly, which I think is awesome because most boxes don't give you a choice. Uh, this box focuses on American made products of neutral decor sourced from new small businesses every month. I love, love that. Um, I think that we should definitely support small businesses out there anytime we possibly can. They feature handmade items and eco and kosh, koshly, eco and socially conscious producers. So you can follow um, on their Instagram, habitation dot well habitation box. Um, you can follow on Instagram for different styling ideas which I love because you can, you know, find new ways to use the products that they send you in the box. And I think that that's a great um, add-on feature that not everyone does. So I really appreciate that. They also offer, ah, they also offer complimentary interior design services with all of their subscriptions. And not just how to use the products they send you. They will help style like, an area maybe you're struggling with in your home, you can send them photos and then they can give you some ideas. I think that is customer service at its best right there. Okay, so they uh, have different, they have different subscriptions. They have the Habitation Mini and that is four mystery items that reflect each season. And that is $49.99 a month or every three months. Then they have the Habitation Box Original. That one is four to six high quality items for $69.99 a month or quarterly, depending on if you choose monthly or quarterly. And then the Habitation Box Elite, that is what I'm opening for y'all today, is six to nine high quality items for $129.99 a month or every three months, depending on what you choose. So um, yeah, with my link down below in the description box, I can save you $10 on your first box. So that's a pretty good deal. Let's let's get in here because it's basically opened anyway. So we're gonna open from the bottom up today. I have very little to cut, one, one cut and that's it. All right, so from the bottom up, I have paper, I think. Yeah, that's just paper. Sorry for the noise. And some more paper. Wish you could see that, I just got two points. All right, there's a box, a little box inside. I see some pumpkins. You know how I feel about pumpkins. Okay, I see a tray. <gasps> there went one of the pumpkins. A tray and a stem. And it looks like a wreath and something else. I'm going to go grab that pumpkin. 
I almost dropped it again, trying to get back in my seat. Okay, so let's start with the pumpkins so I can secure them behind me. These are adorable. A metal pumpkin, I love this. Candle holder, or I guess you could put like a small pumpkin inside, a pumpkin and a pumpkin. A uh, candle holder. Um, what else? Like a sphere. Like what I got in the nesting box. Um, some kind of a floral arrangement. There's so many things you could do with this. It is so, so cute. And I don't have anything like it. So I'm pretty excited to get this. And then a smaller one that's a different shape. And oh my goodness, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of this cutie. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You know I'm gonna have to find space. I mean, these are just, these are just too cute. I love these. Oh my gosh. I can go out on a limb here and say, I think this is the, my favorite thing I've gotten from him. I can go on a limb here and say, I think that this is my favorite items that I've gotten in a habitation box. These are awfully cute. Okay, so I'm going to secure them behind me so I don't drop them again. You guys just sit right there and behave. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go for the wreath. This is so cool. I think this is beautiful. They are calling it a green and brown daisy wreath. Y'all, oh my gosh, is that oval? It's oval. Look at that. It looks so vintage. I love this. This is really pretty. It looks like all the leaves are, are dried. I think they're paper leaves, but they actually look dried. Okay, so mm, this could be my favorite piece. This is good, y'all. I really like this one. And I love the oval. Oh my gosh. I'm speechless. I really like, I really love this wreath. I have got to find a home for this guy. Okay, I'm excited. I am so excited. Okay. What else did we get? We got a little hanger. It looks like a little sign. Is it broken? No, it's not broken. Oh, is this not cute? You guys know I love plaid. Give me all the plaid. My husband wears plaid all the time. I just, I love plaid. I do. Okay. How cute is this? Welcome. A little plaid welcome pumpkin. And look at the little leaves. How fun is that? That just looks like it's made for Sherry. It really does. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is that not cute? Oh my goodness. That's like perfect. <gasps> that just blew my mind blew my mind. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm running out of space behind me. And then the little pick matches the wreath. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. And then we got a little tray, a little galvanized tray with some rope handles. That is cute. That is so cute. You know, I read, I don't know if this works and I should double check. If you want it to look a little more vintage, I think I read if you put some vinegar, I believe it was vinegar, I'll have to double check, and you wipe it, it will give it like more of an aged look. So if you like more of the vintage kind of, um, uh, yeah, the vintage look, you could, you could definitely do that. And I think that would be so cool. All right. That is exciting. So what do we have in the box? 
I'm going to say it's probably something to go in the tray, maybe. Maybe. All right. So we have, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six items. So this is item number seven. Seventh item, seventh and last item. I feel like you guys are still crooked. Okay. I have one of these. I have one of these. Now I have a pair. Oh, I love this thing. Where did I get the first one? Was it Willow Nook? I don't remember. I love this. That's a little too small, I think. But that is so cute. I am tickled to get another one of these. I love it. And I have mine on, I have these small little um, end tables next to the love seat. I have larger ones that match next to the sofa, but next to the love seat, I have skinnier ones. And I have one on, I have one with some fall um, floral next to, it is on, I have one of these on one of my small side tables next to the love seat. So I could put this one on the other one and then they would match. I love that. I love that. I'm not upset to get a duplicate of this one. I just love it. It looks like it's just been um, spun on a pottery wheel with little in indentions from your fingers. Yes, I am super stoked about that. This is my favorite habitation box that I've gotten. This is my favorite. Absolutely, hands down, my favorite. All right, I am tickled pink about this. Okay, so. Let's get into the Willow Nook box. Willow Nook um, is a seasonal home decor box of curated gifts for your home and for yourself. For $79 a box, you will receive at least five items, plus a new recipe print with original artwork. I've only had one of these boxes before and it was pretty cool. Everything was very unique and user, I mean, usable. Everything was very unique and usable. Um, your box will contain a variety of home goods, decor, self-care items, bath and body products, and more. Members may submit an original recipe for consideration, and if yours is chosen, your next box is free. Isn't that cool? How awesome is that? At least one item in every box will be handmade and sourced directly from a small scale artisan. Last time we had a hand painted little dish. I think it was, well, it, it was kind of like a hand, a hand painted um, octagon shaped. Yeah, it's kind of like a dish. And I thought that was really cool. You can cancel this at any time and you can shop their online shop even if you're not a subscriber. And you could possibly find some past box gems in there. You can follow them on socials for updates, box spoilers, new additions to shop, contests, and more. I have not done that because I did not want to get any spoilers. This is one of them that I wanted to be completely surprised with y'all. I just really wanted to be sure that I didn't know what anything was in the box. So, all right. Let's get into the box. It's right behind me. Oh, this one is kind of heavy. So I'm really curious to see what's in here. Okay. This is the second time that I'm opening up a Willow Nook on the channel. So I've only had one before. So this is gonna be a good um, deciding box if it's something that we really like for the channel. So you guys need to let me know down below in the description box if you love, love this box, okay? Um, Cause I'm trying to kind of weed out the boxes that you're not as jazzed about and give you some more different kinds of content, okay? All right, so first thing I see is directions on how to open the box. Is that not cool? How to open this box. Prepare your favorite warm drink. Put on your favorite music, settle into your nook, 
Reflect and enjoy the moment. Open your willow nook box and be inspired. That, that is so sweet. As the glow of autumn takes presence in our lives, it's time to reassess our goals and evaluate how the year has gone by. It's time to be thankful and cheerful. Autumn is when con Autumn is when conviv conviviality conviviality I don't think I've ever heard that word. Alexa, what is conviviality? I have a couple definitions for the noun. Conviviality. 1. The state of being convivial. 2. A jovial spirit or activity. Well, I love the jovial spirit. So convivial is a word I've never heard of. So I guess it's like joyful. Alexa, what does convivial mean? Alexa, what does convivial mean? The adjective convivial is usually defined as friendly, agreeable. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for convivial. So, did that answer your question? Yes, it did. So, autumn, autumn, autumn is when conviviality, friendly, and cheerful takes center stage and breaking bread has been the inspiration for this box. Breaking bread. Your surroundings are important in fostering an inner calm and peaceful environment that supports your well-being. I am learning that y'all. I am learning that so, so true. Take this time to reflect and add a few touches to your home to help you embrace the current season. Use the items you've received in this box to add warmth to your home and heart. Celebrate the season and carve a little time for yourself. That is what the Willow Nook Box is all about. I am so excited to get into this box now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so on top, I see a very soft, squishy looking throw in all kinds of light autumnal shades. <gasps> it is soft, y'all. Oh my goodness, is that soft. Oh my, wait a minute. I think it's a scarf. I thought it was a throw. It's a scarf. It is so soft and cozy. Why am I whispering? It makes me want to whisper. Oh my gosh. It is lovely. It is so lovely. Oh my gosh, what is this made out of? Oh, the label, the label says all you need is love and a cozy scarf. <gasps> it's 100% polyester, but it is so soft. Oh my goodness, I love it. I know it's not my color though, you know what though? Maybe the dark isn't so bad. Keep the light on the bottom. That's not too bad, is it? Please tell me it's not too bad. <laughs> I like it. Okay, what's next? Preparation. Mulling spices. Ooh, is this to smell up your house? A festive blend of cloves, cinnamon, orange peel, star anise, and cardamom. Combine one bottle of red wine, one cup of apple cider, a fourth a cup of honey, and two tablespoons of Twine's mulling spices in a large pot. Bring to a low boil and simmer for 10 minutes. Serve hot and garnish with cinnamon sticks and orange peel. That sounds heavenly. Ooh. All right, I have to save this for a special occasion because I cannot have alcohol on my plan, but I can maybe um, Christmas time, this would be really a nice thing. I think that's a great idea. Okay, that is so cool. I, You know what, I, I really should keep it sealed, but I wanna smell it. Oh. Oh, it smells like fall. 
Look at all that loose. Look at that. Mm. This is going to be a very nice cocktail for the Christmas season. I can only indulge in one though. <laughs> okay, and then it looks like we have a hot pad and a oven mitt with little bees on it. Little bees. I wouldn't have thought of that for fall, but that's really cute. That is a bee, right? Or is that a moth? Maybe it's a moth. Let me see. It's a trivet. Oh no, it's honeybee. Honeybee, the color mustard. So a little trivet and then a really nice, a really nice fabrication of an oven mitt. This is nice, y'all. I like this. This is from Rain and Humble. This item is made using recycled cotton, which with such a high global demand for textile products and an ever increasing strain on resources, we as a brand have a responsibility to reduce our waste and environmental impact whilst creating our beautiful products without sacrificing the style and quality that we love. That's why our new recycled cotton range is an important step for us. Compared to conventional cotton, producing recycled cotton uses 33% less agricultural land, uses 79% less fossil fuels, produces 49% less air pollution, saves 11,000 liters of water, per one ton. We truly believe that style doesn't need to cost the earth. I just love that even more. I just, that is so, that is so lovely. I just, I love it. Love it. All right. And then next we have, it looks like a milk bottle. All right. What do, what do we have here? It has a scoop with it, so it's apparently not liquid. What do we have here? Oh, oatmeal, milk, and honey milk bath. And it's got a little wooden scoop. <gasps> that is cool. I'm not really a bath girl. Um, let's see, butter, buttermilk? I need my glasses. Buttermilk and goat milk powder, milk bath with kaolin clay, kaolin clay, colloidal oats, Epsom salt, and a sweet, clean honey fragrance. Directions, fill tub to desired level and temperature, add desired amount of milk bath into running water, Lactic acid is known to help slough, help slough away dead skin cells. It is recommended that you soak for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Store in a cool, dry place for a shelf life up to a year. Once opened, it is recommended that you use the remainder of the bottle within two months to avoid mo moisture getting trapped in the bottle. That is so cute. I'm going to sit this next to my tub. I think that's adorable. But you know, since I don't take a lot of baths, what I could do is soak my feet. I do like to do that on occasion. I find that just very um, luxuriously feeling, you know. I find that enjoyable. So I might try that with my feet. I bet it makes them super soft and just kind of uh, soaks your stresses all away. That is cute. I like that. All right. What's next? This would be the art card. Let's open it up and see what recipe we have for fall. Okay. Let's see what we got. Super spiced pumpkin bread. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Wonder if I can make that with some um, erythritol instead of sugar. I bet I could. Oh my goodness. And it has a streusel topping with cinnamon, flour, brown sugar, cold butter. This is definitely not on my plan. 
but it's beautiful. And I could see saving this for maybe a Thanksgiving, um, maybe a Thanksgiving treat. I think I would like this as a, as a Thanksgiving treat um, once I'm done with my plan. Um, a little, you know, uh, would not hurt me. And I would love to share this with my family. Super spiced pumpkin bread. I think they would really enjoy this. It has some amazing, it is, it sounds absolutely amazing. Cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg, some butter, some pumpkin puree, sour cream. That would make it very nice and moist. Eggs, vanilla, and then that streusel topping. That would be a lovely thing to have at Thanksgiving. Not this year, but possibly next year. And it's so pretty, y'all. It's just so pretty. Okay. That is a sweet recipe. All right. I don't want to bend that. And then what do we have next? We have a box that says fragile, or as Scooby says, fragile. He always calls it fragile. I don't know why. He just is goofy that way. It's heavy. It's very, very heavy, but it's fragile. So let me try to pop this out easily. Okay. This is the last item that I saw in the box. Oh, we have a some kind of a basket. Whoops. I think I opened the box upside down. We have a basket. Pretty deep basket. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's beautiful. It feels like stoneware inside the basket. Is this a bread basket? I think this might be a bread basket that keeps your bread warm. It fits perfectly in this basket. What else would you do with that stone? That's like one of those that you can put in your oven, it keeps it really hot. That would be great for Thanksgiving rolls if you um, if you do rolls. Duane is in the optimization part of the um, health and wellness journey that we have been doing, and he can have some whole grain breads. So instead of buying the white breads that we used to in, back in the day, I was gonna start baking maybe some sourdough or some whole grain bread for him, and in small amounts, he can have that every day. That would be an amazing, oh yes, I like that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, oh, here we go. Toasty Bread Basket by 10,000 Villages. It's handcrafted. I thought it looked like it was handcrafted um, for $37. The Honey Bee Pot Holder Trivet and Honey Bee Oven Glove and Mustard from Rain and Humble is a $20 value. Natural Mulling Spice Blend from Twine Living Company is a $20 value. The Milky Way Oatmeal, Milk, and Honey Milk Bath is handcrafted. A Mandatory Activity, that's the name of the company, for $16. Ombre Fringe Scarf, All You Need Is Love, a $40 value. And the Super Spiced Pumpkin Bread Recipe Art Print is an $18 value. And then there's a picture of the bread, the bread basket with a loaf of artisan round bread. Okay, that's awesome. This will come in very handy. I'm excited for this. Okay, this was a good one, you guys. All right, so let's see. We've got 20, 40, 80, 98, 108, 124, and then 20, 30, 40, 50, 150, $161 um, for $79. That's, that's pretty good. All right, this is awesome. You know, I love this box because they have such unique items, not your everyday, everybody does in the boxes kind of things. So yeah, this is a good one, I'm excited. Okay, y'all, that's all I have for this episode. 
Um, so I can't wait until we meet again. Until then, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Bye, y'all.